Alright, so the next thing I'm going to attack is doing the um, power steering reservoir relocation. So, I might have shown you before, but um, it used to mount here and wrap around, but now obviously the turbo's in the way. So, this is the factory reservoir here, which we are now going to move to sit about there. We'll have an L bracket that comes up off those two holes there and then hopefully I can get it to fit might have to grind this one off so we can get the power steering pump over a bit and maybe bend that one um, if you want an in-depth video on this um, if you guys follow Goodzilla on um, YouTube he does a pretty sweet tutorial on, well or shows you a bit more in depth than I will on how to do it so we'll get into that now I just brought some 3mm thick flat, 3mm um, by 25mm wide aluminium to make the bracket out of so I just got some measurements and I'll mark that out and cut it and then um, yeah we can try and make it work. Okay, so as you can see down here, there's two um, thread bolts, I'm not sure what it used to, thread holes, sorry, not sure what it used to hold, but um, so I've got my bracket and I just lined it up and marked on there um, where to drill the holes, so I'll drill them out a touch bigger than um, the nuts, which, not the nuts, the bolts and then we'll bolt it up and then we'll have to mark on the top of here where it lines up on the power steering reservoir Alright, so here's the um, factory power steering reservoir. So we're going to cut this tab off and leave this one to mount to, so we'll just use a grinder and cut through there. Right, so after a lot of mucking around I actually got the bracket to work. So there's the bracket, um, I've got it attached to the reservoir, had to bend the heck out of that to get it on the right angle and also it's not square off the bottom there, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you when it's in. So now I'm just going to grind that off and grind these off, grind that part of the bracket off so it's all flush and nothing sticking out. Alright, so I got that all cut off nice and flush, and now we'll bolt it into the car. Alright guys, so it's the next day, um, I made that bracket for the power steering reservoir, and then I painted it, so I've just been letting it dry. Um, also, I um, mounted up the front mount, it's cooler. So I still got to check if I'm going to put the lights on and the guards and then test fit the front bumper to make sure we got some clearance might just have to notch it around here but we'll see it might actually be before here hopefully i tried to reference it off some photos about half hour down this should come um, so i just used some like uh, aluminium 50 by 50 and then i just yeah drilled the holes and cut some angles on it to make it look a bit better and then underneath i um yeah, as you can see they just made up some little um, brackets out of 
aluminium, so it's pretty solid. Um, so the next thing I've got to do is actually, because um, my old front mount was quite a lot bigger, these actually sort of sat, or this sat, like out here. So that will go on there, but then I just need to get some um, three inch and school the pipe and cut this and just extend that one a little bit and then same with the other side so yeah so I'm um, gonna I'll mount the power steering steering reservoir bracket now and then so I can show you that all mounted up and then I still got to run the make the hoses work for that and then I will we'll chuck the guards on lights on and then the front bumper just make sure it all clears the front mount in case we have to um, modify any of the brackets. So here's the bracket, I just um, sprayed it black to make it sort of not stand out so much. Um, so as you can see it's, I had to kink it um, to make it line up with that and to make it miss um, this one um, so that I can still get a hose onto that. So yeah, we'll chuck it in the car. Right, so there it is, all bolted in. Um, it's a bit hard because it's a bit dark, but yeah. Got it to sit fairly good, I believe. I mean, it's out of the way. Next to the radiator, so that's good. The only thing I had to do was put this headlight on first, though, because I think it's... Oh, I might be able to get to it. But the bolts that hold that on, but um, yeah, anyway. Might have to whip it back off again. But that's all good. So now we'll put the other headlight on and the guards on. So this is how my front bumper looked after the last drift day. So it's pretty sad. I do have the bit, so I'm going to try fix it and just use it as a drift bumper and then um, buy another one to have. I don't know, just for if I use it on the road again. Um, so yeah, we'll chuck that on to see if it misses the intercooler. Okay, so I had the bumper on and it was mint, it um, clears this, which is what I was worried about. Um, it was a little bit close on this side, so I actually noticed that the intercooler was um, off-centered, because I just presume that the center of this is center of the um, chassis, but it's not. See, there's the old hole, 
so I had to actually move it over like 10 15 mil and um, drill a new hole so now it's um you can't see it so dark in there but anyway it's pretty much bang on center um, so the only other thing is I might have to make the school it pull it back towards the um, towards the chassis rails a little bit to um, get it uh, the in-schooler piping when it wraps around to miss the bumper as well but um, I'll have to check that out when I actually fix up that front bumper but it's pretty good to go for, for now um, worst case scenario that will only be shortening the intercooler piping, piping which is uh, not a big deal compared to lengthening it, lengthening it. Alright so I went to run the line from the power steering pump to the reservoir but it's actually a bit too short so I have to get a new one of those and then I have to jack the car up to find out where that other one goes, I'm pretty sure it goes down to the rack. Um, so yeah, stoked to have that relocated and the front mount all uh, mounted up. So that about does it for this video, that's about where I got up to. Um, gonna try and get the, the car running in the next video, like running um, with some water in it, so it actually does like bring get up to a good um, temperature without it getting too hot. And um, yeah, and then finish off the intercooler pipe, I'm just gonna buy some more couplers and a piece of three inch intercooler piping so I can actually lengthen the two sides so that will work and I have to get the um, compressor housing turbo one welded onto the bottom. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.